Okay, now we're going to do some percent problems. So let's see. We have 25% of what number is 5? Well, here's the equation. If we can write the equation, we're a long ways towards solving this. So 25% times what number WN equals 5? Well, we need to convert, we need to get rid of that uh, percent symbol, so we can write that based on what we did in the previous section. 25 over 100 times what number equals 5? Now we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this. As a matter of fact, doesn't that reduce? Isn't that 25 goes into 100 four times? So that's 1 fourth Wn equals 5. Oh, much easier to deal with. So now let's multiply both sides by 4 times 4. And the 4's divide out, and we get what number? And four, 5 times 4 is uh, uh, 20. Excuse me. Yes, 20. And uh, we're done. But let's go on and do another one because one problem is not good enough. Let's try a few more of these so you get the idea. Okay, we'll change the percent. Let's say we, I need an of here. So let's make it 30% of what number is, uh, I don't know, let's uh, make it 100, for example. Or 150, that's nice. 150. <laughs> Question mark. So, first task, get rid of the percent symbol. So we'll write that as 30 over 100. And times what number? Equals, is, means equals, 150. And now, look, one of these zeros divides out, so at least we've made a little more manageable times what number equals 150. Now we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 tenths, which is 10 thirds. 10 over 3. And these all divide out, give us a 1, and 1 times Wn is Wn equals, and 3 goes into 150 50 times. And 50 times 10 is 500. So let's do one more. Just make sure we're right on target. Yeah. We know we need a... I don't know if I had that question mark there in the first uh, equation, but it's there now. Okay. We need a question mark here. We need a percent here. Um... 60%, 60% of what number is, uh, let's see, how about 80? That's a good one. 60% of what number is 80? So our first task, get rid of the percent symbol. So we'll have 60 over 100 times what number equals 80? Hey, this will reduce. Now you can say, do I have to reduce? No, you don't have to. But, uh, so let's, let's not reduce this time. We'll solve it anyway. So we'll multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 60 over 100, which is 100 over 60. 100 over 60. And the product of reciprocals is 1, so Wn equals. And one of these zeros divides out, and so now we have 800. 10 times 80 is 800 over 6. Over six. Hmm. And if you want, we'll just go to the calculator. Well, for crying out loud, look. 
2 goes into 6 3 times, and 2 goes into this 400 times. So we have Wn equals 400 divided by 3, and four, 3 goes into 4 once, and 1 left over, so 3 into 100 goes uh, uh, 33 point three repeating so we'll round that to WN equals well approximately 133 if we want the exact value we'll pick the top guy if we want to approximate we'll pick the bottom